What's up, y'all? It's Jennifer Johnson, JJ Dancer, and now I'm here to bring you five ways to lift that booty and tone those thighs. So let's get real. The butt has turned into a sort of accessory for your body. Let's get our accessories nice and lifted and our thighs, which complement our accessory, nice and toned. So we're gonna start with one of my favorites, which is a sliding lunge. Grab your slider, and if you don't have a slider, you can always use a towel and put it underneath one of your feet. You're gonna lunge back and take your knee over your heel, coming back up, and then you're gonna cross it. If you have a problem with balance, or maybe you have knee issues, or you have knee problems a little harder on you with your knees, you can use a chair in front of you and keep your balance that way, or a table. Moving on. You're gonna grab your two weights. So you start with your arms in an L, taking your foot back into a curtsy, stand it up, curtsy again, and kick. And the idea here is that your knee is going over your heel, and you have control. Pushing that arm straight up and kick. Keep your shoulders down, stomachs tight. You're working your quads, your glutes, of course, hamstrings. And for an easier modification, that's a little bit much for you, put the weights down or also you can curtsy into a knee. Stomach is tight. And think of exhaling when your leg comes up because you're really working your obliques. All right, you got that one. All right, make sure you get both sides too. You don't want a lopsided booty. We got enough to deal with as it is. Now we're gonna do a deadlift. With this, I've tied the band in a circle. Step into the center and grab it from the knot that you've made. Okay, you have your feet together. Shoulders are down. Knees are slightly bent. Thrust your hips forward when you come up. And exhale on your way up. Take it down. Exhale on the way up. Really push your butt forward and your hips forward. We come in, knees are slightly bent. Keep your gaze a little bit forward. Stomach is tight, getting those hamstrings, those glutes. Get a nice stretch in your hamstrings even. Kill these, do about 30. All right, so that was a resistance band. Let's move on to another way of the resistance band, and we're gonna do the kickbacks on the floor. So grab your mat, and grab a band that's a straight. Down on all fours, you're gonna take the band behind you and hook it in to your working leg. All fours, heel is down, stomach is tight, square it off, and you're gonna push parallel leg behind you, go higher than your booty, because that lifts it up. Fighting that gravity, y'all. Fighting that gravity, it is a battle of daily battle, okay? So let's push it back. From here, you can do chugs, making it a little more difficult and switching it up. Of course, this is in your hamstring, your booty. And there you go. Make sure you do both sides of these and do them often, because those are your friend. Next, we're gonna do V-lifts, again on all fours, but let's take it down to our elbows and your foot is behind you parallel. Leg is straight, and you lift it to that diagonal, tap down in the middle in the back, and then cross diagonal. Foot is flexed, let's keep it flexed actually. And kind of parallel. It feels a little awkward, especially on that cross. But you want to think of your toe facing towards the ground. Stomach is tight, and then as you're more confident, you can speed it up a little bit. Don't go buck wild, you don't need to like, do too crazy fast. Get a little speed into it. You can add ankle weights. That's really great for boosting the booty. Great, those are the V-lifts. And that was your five ways to tighten your thighs and lift your booty. Come back, see us again. Subscribe to the Self Channel. Share it, like it. Hashtag five ways. See ya.